So key loggers are dangerous and um, they can be used for malicious purposes, which a lot of times they are is what it is, but they can also be used for, you know, ethical purposes because sometimes system administrators and other things want to capture certain things. But for most part, as we've seen them, they typically are used for malicious activity. So as you can see, now let's see the actual activity log, which is where our keys should have been captured. So uh, voila, there it is. All the things that we had typed, that test text that we had typed are in this over here. This is a random test of keylogger and did capture it. So that's it. Um, we are good with the main functionality. So yeah, ideally keyloggers capture your keystrokes. They, they sit silently in your system. They capture keystrokes. They, you know, they can do things as sophisticated as the one I just demonstrated here, where it can even take screenshots, depending on how it's designed. And oftentimes it can be malware that you download from the internet, click on links and you download files or installation files for programs that you're trying to use like free programs and so forth. And these things can get embedded in there or embedded in the installation files and get installed in your computer. So um, just to recap kind of what we did, um, we basically, you know, we built our own internal keylogger. We demonstrated how keyloggers work. Um, we we kind of captured some keystrokes. We took some screenshots and images. We we sent our we sent those logs and images to ourselves in an email. And then we ideally pretty much had like a decryption key sent to us as well too and then eventually pretty much um decrypted that and then we got all the stuff that we needed so yeah